Hey guys, it's Rob and I'm just flying my uh, Blade MCPX. But one thing I want to demonstrate in this video is how easily this helicopter gets into a situation called uh, vortex ring state. Now what vortex ring state is, is uh, the downwash caused by the rotors themselves um, produce a, a flow of downwards moving air. And as the helicopter is descending in that downwards flowing air, it's a self-perpetuating cycle where the rate of um, descent actually starts to increase. Now this little helicopter gets into it very easily, more so than the, the Blade MSR, the 120SR, the Blade SR, um, or any of the 450 helicopters that I've got. And uh, how I can demonstrate that, I'll just show you what I'm actually going to do. I've set up my throttle and pitch curves so that this little he helicopter hovers with my throttle in about the 60% stick position. Okay, so it's about there. Now normally if I move it any higher, the helicopter is going to climb and if I pull it back to about half the helicopter will descend. So from a hover position at about head height once I run the video, what I'm going to do very quickly is pull the throttle back to about the 25% position and then immediately up to 70%. So ordinarily the helicopter would climb in that position but because I've commenced the descent you'll actually hear it with the blades, it's a very turbulent airflow um, it will go all the way to the ground until it impacts the ground and uh, it's quite surprising and it's caught me out a few times when I was first flying this helicopter but um, yeah just an interesting uh, demonstration of vortex ring state so what I'm going to do at about this speed is in the hover I'm quickly going to go like that down to the 25% position then back up to the 70% position and you'll see that the helicopter will descend all by itself all the way to the ground in a situation called vortex ring state okay Just taking the throttle hold off and powering up. Now I'm going to put it into stunt mode. It's in stunt mode now. Bringing it up to about head height. Now I'm just going to briefly move that stick down to the 25% position as I demonstrated and then back up to the 70% position. So normally in the 70% position this is what happens. It goes up. Okay. Now, let me just demonstrate this vortex ring state. Okay, you probably saw that very quickly. It went down and it made a funny sound as it was riding its own turbulence on the, all the way down. Okay, let me show you that again. Okay, I'm just going to snap the throttle back and then up again. Okay, see that? It hit the ground. Not sure if I followed it with the hat. Try again. Okay, that went all the way to the ground then with my throttle in the 70% position. And one more time just in case I've missed it on the camera. Okay, so that's just something you need to be careful of. And I'll just land. Back in the normal mode, throttle hold on. So just to reiterate, what I was actually doing then was moving the throttle from the hover position down to 25% quickly like this and then back up to a position higher than the normal hover and yet the helicopter was in a vortex ring state so it descended all the way to the ground. Um, really interesting and like I said I've never seen that in any remote control helicopter I've flown to date. So uh, interesting. Thanks for watching.